going on everybody? How you doing? We are going to put the Roomba S9 Plus through the gauntlet. See how well it does against all these different debris. See what's going to make it fail, if anything. And then we're going to compare it to the Roborock S5 and the Roomba 981. It's the only other two we've done so far in the same test. Uh, if you're new, let me go ahead and show you the debris that is down. Got this entire room set up. First, we got some fake dog poop. Got a penny, a nickel, a shoe with this lace out. Uh, there's a dime right there, an Oreo cookie, a uh, kitchen towel, quarter, an earbud, more poop, a fork, some mini Lego pieces, a Lego mini figure, a beer cap, a charging cable, a bigger figure, and then a water bottle cap, big Lego piece, and a piece of candy. So the whole point of this test is not to see how much it actually picks up, it's to see what can possibly air out your robot vacuum so you know really what to look for if you're going to send your vacuum out. Make sure you pick up your shoes and your wires, which is common sense, yes, but some of these robots are really good to where they can avoid them. And so that's the whole point of this test. Uh, so far out of two robots, one of them did not air out on anything and the other one aired out three times. So really curious to see what this flagship best, most expensive robot vacuum on the market is going to do with this test. I don't think it's going to get everything perfect. I think it'll probably air out on something. So let's find out together. If you like these types of videos, please smash that like button, subscribe, helps me out a lot, and let's get into the test. Alright, there we have it, S9, go clean, good luck to you. What do you guys think, what do you think will trip this up, or do you think it's going to do a perfect job? I really don't know. So it's going for the big pile of uh, poop. Good thing that's not real poop because that would be everywhere right now. Huh. I think it actually ate it up. Got the fork under it right now. Ooh, that's gonna be an issue. Oh wow, it actually spit it out, I'm surprised. These results are different so far on every single test. And uh, I'm actually quite happy that it spit that out. I was getting ready to stop it and pull it out by myself. So hopefully it doesn't go back over it. Let's see what it does with the shoelace and then we'll switch to the upper view. Oh, it has a hole of the shoelace. What's it going to do? Trying to shake it. You can see it pulling it in, that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to be able to shake it. Very interesting. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny.
Oh, okay. There we have it. The shoelace made it air out. So that's kind of a bummer already. One thing airing out the most expensive robot vacuum you can buy. But it was a, a long lace. So that is out. We're gonna... All right, everybody, the S9 Plus is done. And what do you think? Did not do quite as good as I hoped. Let's take a look. Start right over here. Looks like it uh, wanted to take a bite out of the cookie, but spit it back out. Okay, I guess it doesn't like Oreos. The things that aired it out was the charging cable. Surprisingly, this is the first robot that aired out out of the three from this. Two of the three aired out from the shoelace. I'll show you why in just a second, especially on this robot, why it aired out. The towel, no problem at all. The fork surprisingly did not air it out because it got stuck under there for a little bit and then spit it out and uh, it's kind of funny how it's standing up. Uh, dog poop, no problem. This one, of course, is just push it around. Uh, bottle cap, so, once again, these tests are all different. This is the first robot that did not pick up the bottle cap. Same with the earbud. 
only one of them now picked it up. So it, it varies so much, which is kind of cool. That's why this test is, in my opinion, good, because you don't know what robot's going to do what. Bottle cap. Lego here. The change got shoved under there. Oh no, guys. Ugh. We have a casualty. It ripped her freaking head off. Oh no. That's a freaking shame. <sighs> a moment of silence. Alright. So let's go ahead and check out the dirt pin and see what it did pick up. Well, you know what? It probably self emptied, duh. So we'll have to see what it what is still in here, if anything. Ah, oh, there's still something in here. Oh, that is so weird, guys. So so I picked up the nickel, which I believe this is the first, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the only one that picked up any type of change. And what's funny is, however it did, it sucked off the wrapper for this lifesaver, but not the lifesaver. Oh no. What is that? Is that her head? No, I'm sorry, come back. Oh no, it is. <laughs> that is too funny. Poor Lego girl got her head ripped off by the Roomba S9 Plus. But anyways, what do you guys think overall? I kinda did not that great in my opinion. And I think the reason why I struggle so badly with long shoelaces and cords because these rollers are right in front of the machine and they're extremely wide and powerful. So once it gets a hold of something like that, I think it's gonna be pretty much over with. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this video. Once again, this is the third robot. I plan to do this with all of them. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do it exactly like I'm doing or if you want me to make some changes. And if you're new and you enjoyed that at all, please smash that like button, subscribe. Helps me out a ton, and I really appreciate it. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time.